Hi Flosstube, <laughs> come to Flosstube number 20. This is Shelley Lewis, uh, the beauty crafter. Today we're in a different location. Yeah, um, I was going to do this uh, Flosstube either tonight or tomorrow. But because it's been quite busy a bit lately and tonight I've been, tonight, night times I've been feeling kind of tired. I thought I would do it now. Uh, the reason why I'm in the kitchen is because I'm currently cooking tea. <laughs> yeah, the kids are having uh, fish fingers and chips for tea and veg, and my, I'm having fish, and my husband's having a burger. So, yeah, she didn't join me to find out what we're having for tea. So, how is everybody? I, I'm relatively good. Um, last week, a few of you all know, because if you watch my channel, You'd have got to see, you may have got to see the pictures that are actually loaded up um, that are put together as a small film uh, from our holiday to Prestave and Sands. Uh, we absolutely loved it. Travelling, oh my god, it was a nightmare. You'd never known anything like it. If I thought that um, I'd had a bad train journey before when I've been travelling, it was nothing compared to this. Because we had, uh, the, to be honest, the children weren't a problem at all. The kids weren't a problem at all. Uh, we had, the thing what it was is because we had quite a large case. We had some bags and another case. Obviously we had the two children <laughs> and a pram as well. There was nowhere to sit at all. Um, we wasn't going to go walking up and down the carriages to try and find a seat. So on the way there... My children got somewhere to sit because we sat by where uh, we had the wheelchair access as well. Um, but me and my husband were near enough standing the whole journey on the way there. And on the way back it was even worse because we thought it was going to be kind of a bit quieter. Um, getting uh, Coming back from Prestatin, it was a nightmare. We were, we were standing all the way and um, because obviously I don't uh, I might have mentioned it in my previous videos but I do have quite a bit of a swollen ankle trying to find out what it is I've been to the doctors quite a lot of the times regarding it and they just seem to brush it off basically but this ankle has been like that for months and it just swells up like a balloon I can't wear high heel shoes because if I even try and wear high heel shoes the one usually fits and the other one's usually too big because my ankle gets swollen so I stick to flat so yeah my ankle was in a pretty bad way uh, but anyway on the holiday bit oh, it was fantastic we had such an amazing time the kids absolutely loved it they really did love it um, it was just amazing uh, we obviously we stayed in a caravan because it was a caravan site we stayed at and the weather it was hot most of the days the first day we got there it was it had been raining we had to wait a while to go in our caravan because it was still being cleaned but the rest of the days it was really hot we went for long walks um guaranteed one of the days my husband wasn't <laughs> quite popular <laughs> so to speak because one of the days we decided to go on the beach and my husband said, come on, we'll go over the sand dunes because it's the way you have to go to the beach. So, bearing in mind we had two small children. Uh, my youngest was two and a half, my son was four. Well, actually my daughter didn't seem to mind walking up the sand dunes, but they were so steep. So, I was trying to struggle up walking up the sand dunes in my comfy well uh croc shoes i weren't doing any good I had a skirt on so i chucked my croc shoes off and tried to walk up bare feet well obviously there were like bits of branches and leaves and that so my feet were killing me the sun was hot i was struggling my four-year-old son decided to have one of his major hissy fits so as you can imagine it was quite a bit of a <laughs> getting up there we finally managed it and then when we got over onto the sand my husband turned around and said oh did you know there's a path just around the corner it's completely flat where you can get on the seaside <laughs> easy i was like <laughs> but yeah anyway um needless to say the next time we went the proper way we had to go or we all, we ate out most of the nights to be honest um 
we went in the main complex. I went to play bingo the one night. I didn't win, but I won a grab a Ted. And, oh God, talking about grab a Ted's, we had, we went on a grab a Ted frenzy. <laughs> My husband was after this one dog and he would not leave until he found it, until he won this dog. Needless to say, it ended up costing quite a bit. So, if you hear crying in the background, that's my children. Bear with me for just a minute, I'm going to go and grab that grab for you. I should have got it beforehand and got prepared. Sorry about that guys, yeah, anyhow we had to go quite a few girls on the grabber teds and my husband won this for me, <laughs> isn't it cute, my husband though he said it's the world's depressed looking dog, <laughs> it's so cute, I've named him Bertie because basically what we was told the man who worked at the arcade said um, it gives, he was honest really, he said it gives out on every 30 goals and a 30th go we got him and I called him well I didn't want to call I couldn't call him 30 so I called him Bertie 30 so it's my beautiful baby I love him to pieces then we went on another one and my, <laughs> my husband won this for himself oh look at that this one's called Zit don't ask ask my husband my husband needs to blame for this one because of the spots on his um, jacket, he decided to sit, he said they look like zits, so he decided to call him zit, so poor dog is called zit. And the last one, when I had the game of bingo the one night, I didn't, like I said, I didn't win on the bingo, but I thought I'd have another game on the dog once, it, as it seemed to be that we was winning a lot, on, um, won a lot, quite a few on those. And I won this one, and this one is called Elvie. The reason why I've called her Elvie oh. is because look at the face. She looks like she's doing the Elvis impression there. Oh. 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 Yeah. Took that off, I've gone mad. But yeah, and I thought, well, she's a girl dog. She's got a nice little jacket, so I can't call her Elvis. So I've called her Elvie. And those are the dogs that we want on the grabber tip. Needless to say, we didn't win anything else on the grabber tip. So, just a second, darling. Just a second. So, it's alright. My children love her as well, because obviously, me being in the kitchen. So, yeah, uh, that was it on the last day. Well, as well, I saw my brother there because my brother was staying in Pontins as well. Uh, with his girlfriend and that was nice because I don't get to see my brother much it had been months since I seen him last so we got to see each other there um, his girlfriend gave me a tour around the Pontins place because I really wanted to see it because it was where um, uh, on the Buzzy, a uh, holiday on the Buzzies was filmed so I just wanted to go there so she took me around there and we went to Asda, got a couple of things because the shop near us on the campsite, even though the campsite was absolutely brilliant, I loved it, it was expensive. Uh, they had some good things in there, but it was expensive. It was even more expensive than co-op and other places. Uh, so yeah, I went to Tesco, so that is the holiday. And like I said, I come back on Friday, Did, couldn't have nowhere to sit. So there you go. Um, so yeah, that was a holiday, really enjoyed it. The only thing is though, um, I'm sure a lot of people feel like this when they've been on holiday, but I've been kind of feeling down a lot since I came back. Um, I think it's what they call the post-holiday blues, because we'd had a good time and I just felt down about being back and that, but I picked myself up a little bit now. Um, not to f feeling too bad now. I did have a couple of days where I was feeling quite. Oh, I couldn't pick myself up for no I love no money. I didn't even want to do my crafts or anything like that. Um, but it, hey, it's just the way it goes. You have those days. So anyhow, cross stitching because this is what you've <laughs> joined me for today. I'm sure you don't want to hear me prattling on for ages um, about things. 
Uh, right, I'm going to quickly go through. I haven't got any finishes because when I was on holiday, I didn't get to stitch. I took a stitching with me, Peter Pan, and I did get to stitch some nights while I was watching NCIS because that was another brilliant thing. Got to watch that. But I didn't cross stitch for numerous, for really big amounts of times because I didn't really have the time to do it because obviously we was going out places and that. So it was mainly the night time I was stitching. So I haven't got any finishes, but I have got, I've got a new start. I started this before, was it before? Yeah, it was before I went away. It was about two weeks before I went away. Um, as well, while I'm doing this video, if I suddenly check in the oven, it's just because I'm checking the tea. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. So, yeah, I started this a couple of weeks, about two weeks before we went away. Because I went to my uh, knitting group that I go to in my local town. I say it's a knitting group, but you can take your other crafts that you do. Um, I started taking my cross stitch now. I am doing some knitting, um, but I haven't got very far on that, <laughs> so I won't show you that because I think I showed you that last time. Well, I'm going to start is this. A lady that goes to the knitting group, she brought two cross stitch kits with her, uh, basically that um, she'd started and she wasn't not, wasn't going to do any more. Um, so she asked if anyone wanted them before she took them to the charity shop. So she there was this one there and I thought well I've already stitched my friend a picture for her um, baby that is due in October so I thought I'll pick this up because I can either do it for the first birthday or I can do it for another friend that's uh, found out recently that's expecting so I can do it for her as well not going to say who it is because <laughs> I'm going to share this video on my Facebook so <laughs> there you go so yeah, I'm making that, I just thought it was really cute, I thought I'm going to have a go of it, I've never done anything like that before, uh, a height chart, it's not going to go in a frame, it's going to have, you know like those hangers at the top and you just attach it to the hanger and you hang it off the wall, I was going to attach it to one of those, um, I think, I'm not sure what thread it is, I think it's DMC but I could be wrong, I could be wrong. The kit, it's called, I haven't got a clue, because it hasn't got the name of it. I know it's by Vareco, it's by Vareco, and it just said a county cross stitch kit. Oh, Baby Shower. The name of it is Baby Shower, I just found it at the bottom. So, yeah, this is how far I've got with it. I haven't got very far, as you can tell, because like I said, I've been on holiday, so that's as far as I've got with it. But I'm actually quite pleased with it because I normally when I'm stitching I usually start from the middle of the fabric and do four corners and do it like that in sections but with this instead I put it on this roller frame as you can see I've rolled it at the back and it was a perfect fit for this frame I've had this frame for a while and I wanted something that would fit on it and I found something but yeah I've only done a little bit there as I said I started doing it before we went on holiday but um, I haven't worked on it since then really, but I will pick it up soon again. My other piece that I'm working on is, you've seen this one before. Oh, how my thread has just come out of it, oh poop. Yeah, you've seen this one before. I have been doing this in the challenge that I've been involved in excuse me, the Celtic uh, Cross Stitch League. I guarantee I haven't done the Celtic Cross Stitch League every day because I just haven't had the time to do it every day because obviously we've had the holiday, we've had other things. Um, I've not, as well as being on holiday, um, before we went as well, I was suffering with dry, I had these fingers that were extremely dry. I knew they were dry to the point where they'd gone cracked, they were bleeding, they were dry there was no moisture in them at all and to even separate the threads would really hurt so um obviously that slowed my stitching down as well but on some days i was working on this one which is by 
Buffy threads and it's fairy tales and it's the Peter Pan design. It's done in DMC thread and all it uses is black thread and a metallic one. So this is how far I've got on that. I'm not going to take it out of the frame because I'll be struggling to get it back in and obviously with having tea on I have a lot of time to try and struggle to get it back in. So that is how far I've got on that. Guaranteed you can't see it to its full potential because it's got the frame around it. Um, I love this frame. The only thing is it is really, really tight and it, there is that risk of it crushing your stitches but I like, I like the firmness of it so I'm really enjoying that one at the minute. I worked on that the other day, did all the top bit that's in the circle now. So that is how far I'm getting on with the Peter Pan one. Um, yeah, so that is how far I'm getting on with that. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I'm just going to check the tea <laughs> and then I'll carry on. So, just bear with me for just a second. You will hear a clunk and an open in a minute. So, who said you can't do two things in one? thing that I've been working on is you know that I've been working on the Pinocchio <laughs> yeah I've been cons oh god before I went on holiday sorry about the back in the edits because I've got my stitching case down here because before the holiday I was doing a stitch challenge where we had to do 5,000 stitches in a month well I completed that challenge <laughs> yay completed it um, I was really really pleased with that about completing that challenge and obviously I started the other challenge as well um, I thought it's a great time to work on the Pinocchio one so I did work on that and by the way do you remember me mentioning in my last video that I'd lost my snag tool have a guess what <laughs> yeah, don't ask me where it was. I searched in my cross stitch bag, I searched in my case. And um, when I sat down the other night, I was taking my stitching out, and all of a sudden, this just fell out. And I was like, God, I've been looking for that for weeks, and I couldn't even find it. But yeah, I just thought I'd let you know about that bit of information there. Interesting, wasn't it? That I found my snag tool. Everybody needs a snag tool, which. It reminds me the giveaway in a minute. Well, sh I'll be doing the giveaway just before I finish the video. So I'm gonna take. I have to take this out of the queue, snap to show you because it, you just can't see it to its full potential if it's in there. Bearing in mind the fabric is extremely, extremely creased because I've had like a big piece of fabric in a small queue snap, and I've had to fold it in. The Pinocchio, I've got a little bit further than I did the last time. Um, as you can see now, I've done one side there, I've done all across there. I've done the first lot of pages, which was a set of three pages. Now I'm on the second lot now, and I'm on the, I think it's the first page of the second lot, which is mainly this part here on his face. Look how good that is. I'm still miffed about the little cross stitches with the the um, fabric shown through, but I'm getting really pleased with that. Look how beautiful that is. The only thing is, that bit there, you will not think of it, but oh my god, the confetti stitches in that was is a nightmare. But yeah, that's how far I've got on my Pinocchio, because I've been really, really working on that, like, really really working on it so yes so I'm not going to try and put this in the queue snap I'll just do it later I shall do that later um I've not got the time to do that I'm just going to fold it back up and put it in my cross stitch bag I'm not going to do it well I've got the tea on the go so that is how far I've been working on my Pinocchio design 
I'm thoroughly enjoying it, like really, really enjoying it. Um, looking forward to when it's done. Not that I'm getting bored of it, I'm just really enjoying doing it at the minute. I, I'm going to take it with me when I go to my friends because I'm going to visit her in a, uh, next week, not this week. What day is it? Not this weekend, but next weekend on the Friday. I'm going to visit my friend in Wolverhampton. Uh, the one that's having a baby so I'm going to take my Pinocchio with me there because I'm going to I think I'm going to the Tuesday or the Wednesday which reminds me Thursday um, on the 23rd is my exam pick up day results I'm not looking forward to that <laughs> yeah it's when I pick up my English results I'm fingers crossed I really want to do well I hope I really hope that I've passed it because I feel like if I haven't all these a couple of months that I've been working on English has been for nothing but I'm just really hope I've passed it and I'll get the maths results as well I'm not holding my breath much <laughs> for the maths results because I'm not very good at maths um because you wouldn't think it I'm a 35 year old but I'm sure I'm having a memory problem now because it's happening all the time all the time I'm forgetting about something and it's not just simple things I know people forget a lot like when they go out shopping they'll forget to get something at the shopping but I'm doing it constantly and I'm doing it every single day and I don't know whether it's due down to me getting a bit um, feeling a bit low whether it's due down to that I don't know if that can affect your memory um, like I said I'm 35 so but it's just yeah it's a bit of that and yeah it, it's annoying it's annoying especially when it's important things or it's things that I need to remember to get it's like the lottery. We, we've started recently having to go on the lottery, so now I've actually got the lottery tickets pre in advance because I know what it'll be like. I'll forget, and then knowing us, I'd forget to get the numbers, and our numbers or some numbers have come up. So yes, that's a bit about my memory. <laughs> um, if anyone has any insight to that, please leave it in the comments below. So, I think it's results time. For the giveaway uh yeah i'm up to 161 subscribers now that is amazing um the last few months that has really really picked up uh, i must admit uh going back a couple of months ago every video that i seem to do it seemed to go down and i wasn't quite understanding why um and i was starting to i was honest i was starting to think it was me i was thinking i was doing something wrong but <laughs> it's going up so i just want to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed that does watch the video even if you're not able to watch all of it it does mean a lot that you want to take the time out to watch the videos it means a lot and i just wanted to say thank you so the giveaway yeah in my last video i announced that i was doing a little giveaway um i just wanted to do sprinkle some stitch of kindness uh, one thing I actually showed you that involves in the giveaway, don't worry, it's not just this, <laughs> is this needle minder because I brought it and I found that it wasn't for me, which actually is pretty good because I found my other one now. So the giveaway includes this snag repair needle. They are really, really handy to use. They come in, re they are good, very handy. And I thought, because it's a little giveaway and I wanted to involve a little it's nothing big it's just so much small it's that and probably another little item because i wanted to do sprinkle a bit of stitchy kindness i mentioned that i was going to do a giveaway and i said in my last video if you wanted to be involved in the giveaway obviously you'd have to be over 18 or get a parent's permission whatever um be a subscriber as well um because i know they ask that in a lot of videos to be subscribers and uh, basically to just put in the comments what you love about stitching well i had two comments two people enter the giveaway so and i said i was going to draw it by a hat i've got my hat here vegas one i've got both the names in here as you can see name number one 
name number two. Now I'm going to ask somebody to come in from the living room and to pick a name out of the hat and I shall read it out. So, so, do you want to pick the name? Randy. Oh yeah, Randy's going to pick the name out. Come on Randy. Randy the reindeer by the way. He's coming. Yeah. Oh, just turn the veg down a bit. There we go. I'll have bubbling veg over. You could have told that. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Hi Randy. Are you going to pick a name out of the hat for who's the winner of the giveaway? Yeah, the hat's here sweetheart. Pick the name. Come on. Randy. Pick the name. People want to know who's won. Oh, you got it. He's got the name there. So, oh dear. Right, thank you. Thank you for your help, sweetheart. So, the winner of the giveaway of a snag repair tool and something else to go with it as well is Harriet Stitches. <laughs> Well done Harriet Stitches, you are the proud owner of a snag repair needle and a mystery little gift to go with that. So I'm not sure how to actually get in touch with you on YouTube because I think it's actually changed. So if you do know how, well Harriet Stitches if you do watch this please get in touch with me um, because to so I can have your details so I know where I'm going to send the giveaway to. Um, so... That is where I'm going to leave it for now because no doubt that the tea is almost cooked if not burnt. <laughs> and I've got to get things ready. So I just want to say thank you so much for joining me in this video. I really do appreciate it. It has been a slightly quicker video than my others. Um, the simple fact is because, yeah, because we've got tea in there and it's, I'm in the kitchen. I'm right next to the oven and I'm kind of sweating. Um, needless to say the oven door is broke so we've got something propped up against it um, yeah <laughs> so thank you for watching if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up uh, if you've not enjoyed it please give it a thumbs down <laughs> yeah um, thankfully I've not had a thumbs down yet um, uh, to be honest I don't think there's any need for the thumbs down if you if people don't enjoy a video just don't watch it <laughs> simple um, I just want to give a nice big shout out to the oven door because I'm just going to quickly check that again. Oh, yeah, chips are quite Just put those on the shelf. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, before I went and did that. The quick shout out I want to give is to a couple of people, to a couple of friends since um, starting Floss Tube. I've met quite a few people, um, I've watched quite a few stitching things, Floss Tubes and that. Uh, I've been watching Amanda Panda Stitches, I always watch your videos. <laughs> yeah, I, I was watching one of Amanda Panda Stitches videos the other night and I was watching a stitch along and I was there doing my stitching. Um, so I've been watching her videos, who else I've been watching? I'm caught up with Lisa S Stitches, I've watched her videos. I've watched uh, Teresa Little Stitcher as well. Um, I've caught up with her videos. I've been watching Stitcher Easter. Now, if you've not seen Stitcher Easter before, she does diamond painting videos as well. Um, she does a few, so please go and check her out as well. All these are people that I'm mentioning. Um, it's definitely worth going to check them uh, out as well because they're lovely people and they do lovely videos. Um, I've just subscribed to Stitching with Donna, I think, Donna, is it Donna Murray? I'm, I can't remember if it's Donna Murray, I'm really sorry. But I've just started uh, watching her videos. Um, I'll end up doing some binge watching her videos. But I've actually been watching Netflix as well. I've started watching um, Bates Motel on Netflix. If you like, uh, it's kind of horror, thriller. I would say it's horror because it has the scary bit of elements and that in it as well. But if you don't mind a bit of horror and you like thrillers, oh, you have to go and watch it. I started watching it a couple of weeks ago. I'm now into season four. 
<laughs> I've been binge watching it. It is absolutely fantastic. Um, absolutely, totally brilliant. I love it. Um, obviously, if you've seen the normal, if you've seen the Hitchcock Kerr psycho films, it's more, it's the psycho series. Um, it's not like the film. Bits of it are, bits of it are like the film, but it mainly focuses on Norman Bates when he's younger, and that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> and how he becomes who he is. It is definitely worth watching. So there you go. I'm going to get going now. I'm going to give tea out. And I shall see you again soon. And don't forget Harriet Stitches if you can get in touch with me about um, how to receive your uh, sprinkle of stitchy kindness sprays. And I'll get them sent out. Thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you're not for a subscriber. Thank you to my subscribers. Take a breath and I shall see you again soon.